When preparing a quote for a client, the first steps are picking a door style, picking a finish, picking price levels, and any other global charges that are necessary. In 2020, you do that in the styles and pricing area. Styles and pricing can be found on the left-hand side of your screen. If you look right where my cursor is pointing right now and you see styles and pricing just popped up, that's how we access it. When we click on this, the styles and pricing screen will appear, and there's a number of items that you're going to set. The two most common tabs you will use, though, are the catalog styles tab and the price levels tab. And let me explain both. When you go to catalog styles and you first click on it, you'll look and think, well, there's blank. There's nothing there. It is blank because we're not on the cabinet catalog yet. If you look to the left-hand side, this lists every catalog you've used in your drawing. The room catalogs where you found your windows and doors and APPs, your appliances, furniture's where my tables and chairs came from, and top, that's my countertop. What we're concerned with is pricing the cabinetry. So here, I will click on Sample F, and if you watch on the right-hand side, this will show me all of my available upchargers. Now, a couple of things that are really important here. Number one, you need to determine a door style. So we'll double click on door styles. And when you open up the door style upcharges for your different manufacturer's catalogs, each one will be slightly unique. Some will have pictures of the categories they use. Some will use simple verbiage. You will go through and pick the style that you want to work with. In the catalog I'm working with now, we have classic, country, and modern. So I'm going to choose country. When I choose country, it'll say, what wood species would you like to pick? And here are the available wood species. Again, this is dependent on your manufacturer. I'll choose pecan in this case, and it'll give me a list of doors. I'll choose the old style door by name, and I will do the same for wall cabinets, and I'll do the same for my tall cabinets. I'm double clicking, I'm choosing the country style, choosing pecan, and choosing the door that I want. You also have the ability to add drawer up charges. That would be used in situations where you have uh, suppliers that may have drawer up grades. Maybe they're using a standard suspension and then they have a soft close as an upgrade. Well, you can double click here, choose soft close, and have it figure the cost on the soft close. Some manufacturers offer door pulls and drawer pulls. Well, you would select these here as well. Species premium. This is one of the most important features you'll double click on because this is where you'll not only choose your wood species, let's say pecan, but this is also where you'll find your finish upcharges. And you'll see in my case, I have nine different finishes available and they range from 10 to 15% upcharges. If there are finishes that are standard and they are no upcharge, 2020 will not add an upcharge. But if there is an upcharge to the finish, when you choose it, it will automatically add the upcharge. I will click on my finish and right here it says that we've added the upcharge. Before I move on to price levels, I'd like to mention one other item. I mentioned, or I said, that we're setting styles so that we can eventually go to a quote and quote your customer. So we are determining door styles, finishes, and all the premiums. When we make changes, though, one other, one other thing occurs. And this is probably one of the most exciting to your client. When you change the door style and you change the finish, the next time you produce a rendering for them, that rendering re will reflect those changes too. So you're actually changing your picture and your pricing simultaneously. Now, the last tab I mentioned, price levels. Price levels is on the far right. Price levels is where you determine the price levels from your spec book. If you look at common price level and you click on the arrow, in my case today, I'm using a generic catalog, but you'll see it says price groups A through F. When you're working with a brand-specific catalog, I recommend you take their paper catalog, open it up, look on the right side of the catalog, and you will see price columns. And at the top of each one of those price columns is a name. The name that you see at the top of those price columns is the name that you will see in this list. It's identical to or, or close to the spec book that you're using with your brand-specific manufacturer. So, if you choose price group A, we've just told 2020 to price this kitchen in price group A. If I drop down to the next price level and click on that arrow, I can also tell 2020 that I don't only want to price it in group A, let's price group C to do as a comparison. We can actually choose up to four different price groups to use as a comparison.